So how amazing was that, you guys? Just like the most packed garden of giant clams I've ever seen. Uh, I guess there were seven or eight species all in one place, including the one and only Hippopus porcelanus. What's up, guys? It's Jake Adams here, still in Palau. It's, uh, it's my last day, and uh, that means since I'm flying tonight that I can't uh, go diving today. But instead, I have something else in mind. I'm going to visit a clam farm on the other side of the island. Uh, it's a place that I heard about more than 20 years ago when I was a kid. Uh, one of the pioneers in uh, clam farming uh, in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, yeah, set up a meeting to go see the clams there. There's uh, one species that I'm really, really excited to see. So uh, I'm excited to bring you guys along. Let's go check it out. All right, so I've made it to the other end of uh, this island of Palau, to the uh, Palau Amur Culture uh, Demonstration Facility where they breed and raise a lot of different clams. Um, it's just a beautiful sight out here and I can't wait to see some of these uh, farmed, uh, farmed giant clams. Holy crap, man, look at all those tanks all that real estate for growing clams and they're just in super shallow water running seawater and plenty of tropical sunlight let's go inside so many clams look at all those look at all those clams holy crap there must be thousands of hippopus here What's your position here at the PMDC? Oh, I'm a, I'm like a supervisor. Okay. Was this the first place to breed giant clams? Yes, sir. Ever in the world? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What species was it? Uh, Derasas. Derasa, okay. Derasas and Hippopus and Groceas, Maxima, Squamosa. How many clams do you have in stock? Uh, right now we would be having about like about around hundred some thousands. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Wow. Super cool. Yeah. What species are you currently raising? Uh, Derasas and Hippopus. Derasa and Hippopus. Uh, why? Why those two species? Uh, because uh, look. Uh, Look, uh, local demand is usually. Uh, yeah. Is this a very prolific species? Yep. Very, very, very. Holy crap! And I see you have a couple of huge trochus shells in there. Yeah. That's for algae they, cleanup. Yeah, they, they eat algae. They help us clean the tank. Wow. Ooh, this one's got beautiful markings. Awesome. So most of the clams you make are for the uh, food market. Food market, not only for food market, but also for uh, trade, uh, aquarium trade. Aquarium trade. I'm an yeah. aquarium reporter, so, ah. so uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I love giant clams. Yeah. I've loved them since I was a kid, and yeah. being here is very special to me. Ah, very yeah. cool. Thanks for your time today, by oh, the way. You're welcome. So you don't sell directly to the trade, right? No. Nope. You sell to farmers. To the farmers, and then farmers will sell it to the uh, traders, and then you know. So that way the income goes to the farmers. Right, right. So we just help them. So it's very much like a uh, like a hatchery for fish and lakes and ponds exactly. all over the world. Yeah, exactly. But you guys do it with clams. Right, exactly. That's so cool. And so is this about the size that you would uh, sell yeah, to the this, locals? Yeah, this, this, this is about like six to nine or uh, nine to ten centimeters. These are just the right size for the... Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. Look at all of them. Yeah, so we got Maximus, the Rosas, because these are Maximus. You guys, it's actually kind of unreal to be here right now, like uh, in the middle of a clam farm, surrounded by clams, thousands and thousands of clams. If you look behind me, there's just thousands and thousands of Hippopus, Hippopus, and uh, some Durasas. It's just freaking nuts. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take my camera, get a closer look, and uh, see if I can get some nice money shots. Right now, I'm gonna go to the gift shop, see if I can grab a poster or two, and then I'm gonna go into the water and for the first time, finally, finally see Hippopus porcelanus uh, face to face and get some original photos of that clam. So. Super excited. Uh, I was told that you uh, are growing some clams out oh, here in the way. ocean too. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that's where we put uh, uh, some seedlings to grow and our brood stops down there. Oh, wow. And it's just right out here in front? Yeah, right out in the front. Okay. Holy crap. You can see yeah, it. Just a couple of gigas so here. you have clams all throughout yeah, yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. All throughout. Wow. How deep is this right now? Uh, probably like. How far do the clams go? Uh, up to like uh, three of them. Three. And where is the um, porcelainus? Uh, they're right here. I can tell I'm gonna have some strong snorkeling work to do. Right there. Oh wow. There they are. See those three big ones here? Yeah. Those are porcelainus. I travel to a lot of different Pacific Island nations right, right. and they have clams. No one has clams like Palau has uh, clams. Yeah, we are, we're very fortunate. You guys have seven mad clams. And abundance. Diversity yeah, 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 and abundance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still here. And I'm sure the hatchery doesn't hurt to keep it growing. Yeah. To keep it growing and going. Oh, wow, those are big guys. They're so big, I didn't yeah, even see yeah. them. Wow, I can't wait to get in the water. All right, you guys, it's been super cool tour in the facility behind me, seeing all these baby, baby giant clams, all different species, uh, learning a little bit more about this place. But uh, now it's time for the real deal. It's time to get in their, uh, their clam garden and uh, finally come face to face with Hippopus porcelanus. And uh, I'm sure while I'm down there, I will see a few other mentionable clams. So uh, let's jump in. I knew that the PMDC would have loads of giant clams in their clam garden, but nothing could have prepared me for the fields of giant clams that I saw. Nearly every species of giant clam was represented. Crochea, Maxima, Gygus, Derasa, and Hippopus. Although Squamosa were few, and I didn't see any teardrop clams. All of these clams are placed here either to grow out, or mostly as broodstock to use in clam breeding when the season is right and the clams are ready. It was hard not to get lost in the kaleidoscope of shapes and colors, and I could have easily spent a few dives observing and admiring all the different clams. However, I was here to see one clam in particular, and finally, I spotted one off by itself. Hippopus porcelanus, the porcelain clam, is arguably the rarest living species of giant clam. It is only known from few parts of the Philippines and Palau, with rare sightings outside of this region. There are very few pictures of this giant clam species, and this might be one of the very few videos showing the species in this much detail. Since I had never seen this clam for myself, I had always imagined the species as being just slightly different from the very common Hippopus hippopus. 
Boy, was I wrong, because the Porcelanus clam is very distinct, both in the shape of its shell and the appearance of its mantle. Like the Hippovis clam, porcelain clams have a mantle that does not extend past the edge of the shell. And while the pattern of the mantle shares a similar motif with common Hippopus clams, the Palawan porcelainus has an amazing appearance all its own. The mantle is mostly dark, like a light black base color, but the fine concentric lines are much more numerous and much more pronounced due to the dark background, almost like a black tiger Hippopus clam. I had no idea that the porcelain clam would be so beautiful in person, and it was worth waiting 20 years to finally see one. Of course, this clam garden is home to many other stunning clams, not the least of which is this incredible blue Durasa clam. Even more rare and out of this world is this very unique bicolor Durasa clam with pattern visible only on one side of its mantle. I don't know what causes this two-faced appearance, but it's very special either way. After carefully inspecting these beautiful Durasa clams, I turn my attention to the big daddy of giant clams, the truly giant species, Tridacna gigas. There is very little reference for size or scale in the video, but the gigas clams are all more than three feet or one meter long, and many of them are much bigger. Growing sometimes much bigger than a person, the Gigas clam is the biggest bivalve and it grows the biggest shells in the world. Not only are these clams very big, but they're also very heavy and I have no idea how the PMDC handled these for breeding, but I hope to find out next time. It would take much more than this one video to feature all the clams that I thought were beautiful. Seeing them so closely packed on this beautiful coral reef was just an amazing experience. But I do want to show you one more thing that I found, basically a clamception. It was a Hippopus clam living inside perhaps an old Squamosa clam shell. And uh, when the reef is crowded, you got to grow where you got to grow. I was in the water for well over an hour and it was truly amazing experience to see this incredible clam garden. But I can't leave without giving one last look to the infamous porcelain clam. And now, next time, I know what to look for on the reef and hopefully I get to see some in the wild. So how amazing was that, you guys? Just like the most packed garden of giant clams I've ever seen. Uh, I guess there was seven or eight species all in one place, including the one and only Hippopus porcelainus. This is a clam that I, I've only seen in pictures for the last 20 years and not that many pictures. I took 20 times more pictures than have ever been published. So uh, really look forward to sharing this with you guys. Um, it's such a, such a, it's like a bucket list item to be here, to go diving with the clams, to see them in a spot. Um, to know that they're breeding hundreds of thousands of these clams here. It's just so, so, so cool. So uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, adventure to the uh, Palau Mariculture Demonstration Center. Um, yeah, it's a really awesome experience to be here. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you want to see more uh, videos like this about the natural world, about the ocean, about aquariums, and just about everything in cool uh, that uh, relates to marine life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because uh, there's a lot more where that came from. So I'll catch you guys next time.